Hey everyone, it's Coach Johnson, and what we're going to discuss in this video is we're going to discuss the concept of staying long. One of the key things that happens, uh, what we refer to in our system is we call something the feedback mechanism. Essentially what that means is that if we stay nice and long, and we're going to feel what technique or what the technique is supposed to feel like. We're going to feel the right kind of stretch reflex. We're going to feel the right kind of separation. We're going to feel our position, and that's one of the keys to becoming a better, more advanced thrower. You have to understand what good positions feel like versus bad positions. And if you are simply always in a position that keeps you from feeling the right things it takes a lot longer to get better so one of the one of the simple things that we focus on is we talk about staying long and what we do is you'll notice if, we, if we're in the discus we stay long and in, in the shot we're gonna stay long as well now in the shot we got a shorter circle the ball sitting on top of us so we're gonna be a little more compact, right? So a seven foot circle versus an eight foot two circle and an implement sitting on top of you versus away from you. So clearly, especially in the disc is to learn those feelings, you have to stay much longer. And one of the things we wanna focus on for young throwers is understanding how to keep those arms long so that we're feeling these nice lengthened positions. When we feel this type of a position, right that's going to set up much better um, understanding and feeling of the of what the proper throw where are we going to stretch where we're going to feel separation remember separation is referring to my shoulders are moving separately from my hips and if they move together we don't have separation and if we don't have arm shoulder separation that's the second type of separation in the discus we don't feel that stretch reflex so this is a really really important thing and staying long is one of those simple tips that helps you do that so what we want to focus on is as we stay here we want to avoid this and we this is why we see when we see kids who start out they kind of turn like this and so you're going to notice that i've got a lot of extraneous arm movement and that's really going to hinder those cor correct feelings so you see a lot of kids and they move their arms like this and they're low so what we always want to do is think of we're turning the shoulders with long arms and this is how we have those nice long positions and that's what you start to see with your world-class throwers they all look extremely long uh, individuals but they you'll notice they really maximize the path and the length of what they've of their tools, of their levers. So when you go out and train, remember a really simple thing to help you feel better positions is simply keeping the body in the right position by just staying long. Avoid the folding at the arms short, right? When we dip our shoulders and we do different things, that's creating shorter positions. If we're always focused on being a long position, you're gonna feel how that's gonna work. If everything's long again, you're gonna feel that. You notice how I kind of dig, dangle my fingers. I want it that nice, long, relaxed position. So simple tip, big results, helps you with your training. So go ahead and give that a shot. Um, if you like this video, do us a favor, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, check out AirtayThrowsNation.com for more information and free videos. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.